I'm thankful. to welcome you to our service. Please take a moment to check your cell phones and join me in waving hello to all of our online friends. Your presence adds to our spiritual community and we appreciate you. Our Unity singers today are Ronnie and Mary. <laughs> Please join me in welcoming our guest musicians, Aoife Madupe and Russell Brown. CDs are available on the patio. Let's open our service by focusing our intention through our opening affirmation. Please join me in prayerfully and powerfully speaking it together three times. There is only one presence and one power in the universe and in my life, the all loving goodness of God. Again. There is only one presence and one power in the universe and in my life, the all-loving goodness of God. Once again, there is only one presence and one power in the universe and in my life, the all-loving goodness of God. Let's continue by reading aloud the statement of our unity. God's love is within each of us, guiding us to dynamically express our wholeness, wisdom, and abundance. We acknowledge the universal wisdom in the Christ teachings and in all spiritual paths. I now choose to open to the presence of divine love and to be changed at death. Throughout this sacred time, God is uplifting me and through my heart, the world. Our heart minister, Jeannie Fusen, will read from Daily's Word. Today's word is energy. God created me with a physical, mental, and spiritual capacity to live a fulfilling and meaningful life. Whether I'm active or resting, I'm vitally alive. While my body rests, my mind may dream of my next endeavor. When I'm physically active, my mind clears as I focus on the task at hand. In the silence of prayer and meditation, I still my body and mind, tapping into the source of strength and energy within. No thought or distraction interferes with the flow of energy in and through me. I am recharged physically, mentally, and spiritually. At work, at play, at rest, I channel my energies into activities that bring joy to myself and to others. 
Energized by a spirit within, I live an abundant life. And the scripture for today is John 10, 10. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. And our affirmation for today is, I am divine energy expressing as vitality in life. Together, I am divine energy expressing as vitality and life. Breathe that in. Repeat. I am divine energy expressing as vitality and life. Good morning. Good morning. This song is a little bit different, or maybe not. <laughs> hey, it is a formula. I'd like to share with you so if you get in your heart space that's what you're known for here right <laughs> love hearts love first be vulnerable get hurt forgive move on song dance free express your creativity move along your own path that your own be be perfect as you are just open your heart and shine your light like the brightest star. I know it's a lot to remember, but if you could take a couple steps, maybe they'll serve you. I'm going to do it one more time. Stay with me. <laughs> Hey, love hard, love first, be vulnerable, get hurt, forgive, move on, then do it again like Play your favorite song. Dance free. Express your creativity. Move along your own path with your own beat. Be perfect. Yes, you are. Just open your heart and shine your light like the brightest star. Just open your heart and shine. Just open your heart and shine. Just open your heart and shine your light like the brightest star. Please open your heart and shine. Just open your heart and shine. So open your heart and shine your light like the brightest star. It's birthday Sunday. If your birthday is in the month of, month of March, please stand so we can celebrate you.
to highlight a few upcoming events. The details of these and other wonderful activities are in your bulletin and on our website. If you are interested in taking the step of joining our community as a member, or if you're just interested in learning more of what Unity is all about, please join Reverend David the third Thursday or the fourth Sunday in March. Mirabai is inviting children ages six and up to sing in the children's Easter choir. See details in today's bulletin. Also, check out today's bulletin for two interesting new monthly experiences that you won't want to miss. Daylight saving time starts next Sunday, so spring forward, and we'll see you one hour later. <laughs> Reverend David. Good morning. On a couple Saturdays, we've, we've got a heart math training coming up. So I wanted to, first of all, invite everyone to let yourself have that skill. Now, if you've already started, okay, if you've been working on your heart math skills, that ability of the heart to literally transform your body and end the experience of stress in the moment and access that greater wisdom through the heart, if you've been doing this and you still have stress, you still need to come. <laughs> okay? Because it's time to go to that next level. Okay? And if you aren't aware and haven't had a chance to jump in and learn these beautiful things, or if you have people in your life that are experiencing the anxiety, worry, stress in their experience, this is tremendously powerful, it is very effective, and there are very few places in the world where this is taught publicly. So it's a very unique opportunity for us. So I hope to see you there, and you know what we'll do. We'll have fun. <laughs> If you're here with us for the first time, we welcome you to our spiritual community. We'd love to meet you, and we invite you to experience our community as our guest at a Unity event of your choosing. Please take the very important presence card from the seat pocket in front of you to the welcome table on the patio to learn more about us and to receive your gift certificate. If you are willing, please raise your hand so we can acknowledge you. We'd love to extend our special blessing to you and everyone new to our services, both here and online. Together, we, we love, love you, you, we bless, bless you, and, and we behold, behold the light of God, God shining through you. Thank you for joining us. Please take a moment until the music begins to greet the people around you. Beautiful job. Yeah, thank you. Hi. Hi. All right. Good, good, good. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. How are you? Great to see you. Oh, good. Oh, good. Good journey. Hey. Oh, doing great. You too. Like the threads. Oh, yeah. A little change. Yeah, it looks good.
get comfortable, take that deep breath through your heart, and let's settle in for a little time of prayer and meditation together, that inner journey. And I invite you as, as you turn within, whether you want to just focus on that music and let, you, let it carry you, or you want to give it expression and voice, let it be that part of that journey, the very center of your heart. Father God, infinite love, beloved presence, as we turn within to know you more deeply, we acknowledge that you now open us to experience the love that you are in us at depth. We see that love expressed in the beauty of this world around us and in the beauty of those people who are in our lives, their smiles, their thoughts, their struggles, their triumphs. And you are this force of love that accepts us as we are without condition, without limit. And in this moment, we let ourselves feel that love. For as it was spoken to the Master, so it is to each of us. You are my beloved child, in whom I am well pleased. Completely and totally loved just as we are. And as we touch that love and feel it, that illusion of separation dissolves. For I am that love. 
I am the presence of love. I am the power of love. Love flows through my heart, through my life, through my thoughts, through my feelings, through the beauty of my spirit. I am love. And so I now allow myself to rest. Rest in that place of sacred stillness. Simply being at one with the one. God, infinite love, beloved presence, you in whom I live and move and have my being. so grateful to know that you are this force and presence that I experience and feel is love and that this presence and power transforms and uplifts heals and guides and so I take this beautiful power of love and I radiate it from my heart sending it forth to touch all that is I begin by radiating it to my own body for healing and strength, vitality. I send it to my heart and mind for wisdom and understanding. I send this love and surround each one dear to me, blessing, lifting, guiding, caring. I radiate this love from my heart, sending it across the spiritual community Becoming a part of that light and wisdom that flows through each person. Touching everyone in their world. I radiate this love from my heart. 
and fold every prayer request brought here, knowing with each one that this divine love lifts them into that which is the highest. And I send this love across the communities in which we live. I send it across our nation and the nations of the world to heal the fears of all peoples and to bring forth their great wisdom and compassion. And I radiate this love, sending it to all who join us in prayer, whether in mosque or synagogue, temple or church, whether gathered at home or on the hillsides. For in seeking to know you, we are all one. And I radiate this love from my heart. I send it to Mother Earth and all her creatures. And I send it about the earth to touch the heart of every single person. For you are that love in every heart. And in that love, we are one. Divine love flows through my heart, enfolding and blessing the world. Please join me. Divine love flows through my heart, enfolding and blessing the world. Again. Divine love flows through my heart, enfolding and blessing the world. again. Divine love flows through my heart, enfolding and blessing the world. It is so. It's the green in the leaves. It's the wind in the trees. It's the up and down of a bird's wings. It's the glide with unexplainable ease. It's the rain. In midfall, when you thought your heart didn't care at all, it's the tear rolling down your face, it's a yearning for a quiet place, 
It's a wave of flow moving through. It's God expressing as you. It is God expressing as you. It's the fertilization of seed, a blade of grass growing through the concrete, an act of kindness from a stranger on the street, getting your fill of spiritual food to eat. It is Laughter in the midst of weeping A strange peace when it appears your ship's sinking It's the dream God's created in you Then realizing what there is to do It's like mother entering the it's God expressing as you. It is God expressing as you. If you find that it's hard to believe, just close your eyes and breathe. Take a step, let the pain go. Embrace the fire, step into the flow. Embrace the fire, step into the flow. Just close your eyes and breathe. Take a breath. Let it go. Embrace the fire. Step into the flow. Embrace the fire. Step into the flow. Like a flower moving through bloom, it's God expressing as you. It is God expressing as you. God expressing as you. So turn to that expression beside you. And because it's expressing particularly gorgeously today. Good morning, you gorgeous child of God. All right. weeks ago, we, we began a journey, a journey of exploration of one of the great, powerful, challenging, 
spiritual teachings that uh, I avoid as much as I can. <laughs> it's that one, love your enemy, okay? Because, you know, that's, that's, that's challenging work. And when, when we looked at it, okay, we, we started with that, that place of understanding that that love doesn't mean we roll over and we just give up our power and we let people do whatever they want to do, whether it's unhealthy or not. That that's not really what love is and that's not really what's being talked about there. That the, from that additional reflection from the prophet Muhammad, O messenger of God, a man who is oppressed, I am ready to help. But how does one help an oppressor? By hindering him doing wrong, he said. And we looked and reflected on the, the, the beautiful example of the civil rights movement and how it had showed us that the tremendous love that uh, can, be, can be expressed when we meet that which is in resistance to our good. But then we, we got into a little more challenging piece last time because we did that, you know, turn the other cheek, go the second mile thing. And, it, and we looked at it as not suggesting that we be quite so passive as it sounds, but when we really look at, well, what's that about? Within the culture in which it was, it demanded that, in fact, what we do is engage with intelligence and equality that which is taking place in our lives. A little different understanding. But I'll tell you the truth, okay? When I look at, and I have that experience of somebody deciding to play enemy. Now, we, we, you've been in unity. You know there's no enemies out there. But it's not that we don't invite folks to kind of show up in our lives and play that role. Sometimes we get some very creative ones. Okay. And what I will admit to you is what I really want to do is I want to put on my Hogwarts robe. And I want to pull out my wand. And I just want to zap them. Okay, anybody with me on that? It, 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 that little, little, more like how it, how it well, the, the thing I want to share with you today is I think we really get to do that. So we'll go into the class today, this or hard, Hogwarts class, on, the, on this, the spell that we use to do that. Ready? Okay, now I know some of you were suspicious since you've never seen me in clerical robes, okay? <laughs> Nor academic robes, so when I show up, it's Hogwarts robes. That's a <laughs> so, but understanding, there's not just a little bit. There's a lot of magic in us all. That spiritual, amazing spiritual power. So, turning to, back to, Back to Jesus' teaching on this. There is always a little more, as you know. You've heard it said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. And pray for those who persecute you. Interesting direction there. And then... If, if, if you recall from last week, after we kind of go through all the different ways that he talks about it, he ends up with this really weird line. Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. Right away, what he's affirmed is this is absolutely impossible. <laughs> or at least that's how I used to read it. So we'll just let that hang out there for a while. Let's go back to the... Uh, Pray for those who persecute you. Love your enemies. Pray for those who persecute you. Now, Charles Fillmore gave us a particular insight on what happens when we've got something going on in our life. He said, the truth is that things have a spiritual as well as a material identity. And that the spiritual is the cause side. So usually what we get fixed on 
is the effect side. Okay, when there's resistance, when there's problem, I don't know about you, but I'm looking out at them awful hard. Okay, <laughs> rather than the spiritual is the cause side. Now, when, when we were reading this, I remembered a very meaningful experience that I had uh, in, in the years when I was in a study of the Edgar Cayce readings. For those of you who may not know, Cayce was one of the, one of the probably the greatest American psychic. And a, a lot of his explanation had to do with understanding the spiritual dynamics behind things. So I went back and found the reading. And he says, he starts out, think not that any soul. So he's saying, no, don't, don't think this way. They are the oppressors. Yea, look within thine own heart. Hast thou not practiced the same? Ooh. I don't like that. <laughs> okay, look within thine own heart. Has thou not practiced this? So he's saying, okay, what's going on? Is there something in here? Now, part of the experience of, of unity studies, where you've done that, is understanding the um, law of mind action. Uh, thoughts and feelings held in mind produce after the kind. So we know that part of the experience of the universal laws is that in life we meet ourselves. So that's the, the challenge that, that we're in. There's a, a way of working with this experience of, okay, there's something in me that I have to deal with in order to transform what's out there, bringing my attention from effect into cause. And several months ago, I shared with you one of the most interesting experiences of that. Okay, this, this was the fellow, Dr. Uh, Hugh Lin, and he was a practitioner of the whole Ho'oponopono work, the ancient Hawaiian tradition very much modernized by a recent master teacher. And the, the experience that was so fascinating was that he, as the psychologist for the criminal uh, ward of the state mental hospital, he didn't engage with any of the people, but healed them all by doing the work within himself. Interesting picture of this idea. Okay, that somehow or other by doing that work within yourself, okay, you can affect what's going on around you. Now, what he used was a particular set of inner experiences. Okay, and the experiences were, were captured in, in word focus. Okay, so the first step was, I love you. The second, I'm sorry. The third, please forgive me. And the fourth, thank you. So by these focuses, I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you. He went through an inner transformative process that resulted in a major outer change. Very powerful steps. Same with me. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. Okay, once more. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. Now what happens for me is when I, when I see that, it takes me back to Jesus' teaching. What a beautiful experience of prayer. Praying for those who persecute you, or those who show up in resistance to your good. So a way of praying within that ends up with transformation both within and without. I had the experience of... Um,
running into a very animated resistance at one point in my life. I'm trying to think how to say that nice. Um, <laughs> so, and uh, this, uh, this particular fellow was just uh, very upset about a number of things. Now, at the time, I was a minister of a church, and we were doing one of those things that churches regularly do, which is writing red ink for a while. Okay, and this very much disturbed this man. And so he was, he was very upset, and he was getting folks to get together with folks to be against folks who were for folks, you know, that, that, just drama. Okay, and what I noticed was that that was very uncomfortable to me. And so I'd been working with this understanding that love transforms, that the power of love is the ability to transform anything from within to without. So what I did was I went to the meditation room and I just sat down and started to work on loving this guy. Now, it didn't work very good right at first. Somehow or other, I kept being aware of so many unlovable things about him. <laughs> now, I don't know when you go to love people what comes up for you, but that was what was coming up for me. So I had to take a deep breath and go, you know, walk around a little bit, come back and go back to it again. And probably about the third time, I could feel it. You know, I could actually feel my love for this person. I think part of it may have been that in that, you know, when you're looking at something in that inner world, I was very aware of aspects of myself that were not dissimilar to what he was expressing. And I don't know if that was part of making that change or not, but I, I, I was aware of that as I went and came to the point where not only could I feel love for him, but after holding it for a while, it felt complete. I felt free. I walked out of that room free. I never said a thing to him. Never addressed the problem. For those of you like me who love avoidance, this is fantastic. <laughs> and it never expressed in my experience again. So I went, wow. So when it, now, what I didn't have was I really didn't have a way of prayer. I didn't have a way of going there. And that's one of the reasons why I bring up the Ho'oponopono work. Is I, that's a very beautiful way of, of a journey into that experience of, of love. Those dynamics there are very powerful, both for that that we're seeing outside, but also the part of ourself that we may have seen and, and are beginning to address the part that is oppressor or the part that is victim or whatever that we, we want to play out there. So I want to share with you that an understanding that is expressed by the, the Ho'opono people of what's happening there. What, what they're saying is that the spirit is the cause. It's the spiritual energy flowing through us gives dynamic to what is within the mind, what is within the consciousness, and that that expresses. Now that what happens is when we see something that is not whole, that does not express the wholeness, which is the nature of the creator itself, when something is not whole and is expressed, that that is a memory. Okay, and so what we are getting is a non-whole creation. And that's why the nature of the process. Now, an another beautiful part of their understanding is that in order to make that transformation, that we don't do that. That the most effective way is to simply ask the divine to remove the memory, to heal the memory, to let go of the memory. So that that divine presence moving through expresses as the wholeness, 
which is its nature. So the process, I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, is a way of engaging that divine energy to remove that memory. Now, some of those are our memories. They're very personal to us. They're when we were a kid or a teenager or, you know, only 70. And we were in that experience, that exchange, and it colored how we, how we think, how we believe. And that is expressing. The others of those are part of what Fillmore called race consciousness. It's this mass consciousness that we share that still affects and is a part of who we are so that we then express aspects which we may not identify with strongly individually, but are still a part of our consciousness. And I say this because when we look at this idea of 100% responsibility, some of us go into 100% guilt. That is not the teaching. It is about the power that we have to transform. And much of what we see may not be personal creation, but it is expressing through us because we are a part of many dynamics of consciousness. Okay? So no guilt. Got agreement? No guilt? Okay. Now, Just look one other one other beautiful place before we go to the spell. One of the beautiful ways to get a reflection on spiritual process is to go to Lao Tzu, the creator of the Tao Te Ching, ancient Chinese wisdom. And Translation of his teaching is, the master allows things to happen. She shapes events as they come. Okay? So this is, this is what we're talking about. Allowing things that we, through us it is shaped as it comes. But then it says, she steps out of the way and lets the Tao speak for itself. And isn't that what's happened? when we've healed the memory, when we've gone to the love, when we've let that spiritual power cleanse us, remove this from the consciousness that the Tao, the wholeness of the divine presence might express through us. Now, if you'll remember, Harry Potter went through a fascinating, what we would call an archetypal picture. And one of the things about J.K. Rowling was she, she caught this archetype again and again in these beautiful stories. But if you remember, Voldemort was a part of Harry Potter. What he realized at the end was that he was what in the book is called the Horcrux, or he was that in which within his consciousness was embedded an aspect of this which was destruction, okay, which was feared. So what he had to do was deal with this part of himself. And he did that because of his love. The resistance to good could not be ended until he loved that enough to surrender his own self. And so in the story, he goes through the death experience. He allows Voldemort to kill him. But of course, what dies is the part of himself that was manifesting as the resistance. An amazing story, isn't it? And so in the end, 
what happens when he meets Voldemort after finding that in fact he is alive. The spell that Voldemort brings is the one to kill him. The one that he brings is the one to disarm, to simply remove the ability to focus the power, to remove the wand. The wand is that intention. It's the ability to focus power. If there is no power, it can't be focused. Beautiful teaching. Unity 101, Dr. Emily Cady, there is no evil. It is not true. There is only the all-loving goodness of God. So when we transform, use this amazing power of love to transform these limited perceptions of memories within ourselves, what do we find? The all-loving goodness of God. So your homework for this class, you young wizards and witches, <laughs> is to practice the spell. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. Again, I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. And I'm sure, I promise you, somebody's going to show up <laughs> that you're going to say, oh, that's one of those magic creations to test my spell. Okay. So we all going to do it? Okay. Together? I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. You've got the power to just plain old fashion zap. Go for it. Thank you, Reverend David. If you would like prayer support for challenges or celebrations, please ask our heart ministers. They'll be available after the service, here in the sanctuary, and on the patio. Our heart ministers are wearing the lavender stoles. You are also invited to place a prayer request in our prayer box by the front door and in the book center, or you can select the prayer request link on our website. We will be praying with you throughout the week. It's time for our prosperity celebration. For love in action or credit card donations, there are envelopes provided in the back of each chair. I invite you to take your tithe or offering in your hand and be aware that God is the source of all your good. Repeat our affirmation with me together. Divine love through me blesses and multiplies all that I am all that I have, all that I give, and all that I receive.
make believe about life, you can make it. Make believe about time, you have to take it. Make believe about faith, you need to learn it too. Know that joy is coming to you this whole wide world is make-believe banging on pots in nana's kitchen this whole wide world is make-believe Banging on pots in Nana's kitchen. See, she came in teary eyed. Can't keep a man to save her life. Nana said, Hush, girl, don't be trying. In matters of time let spirit decide make believe about love that is true make believe about joy you need it to know that pain is something you can get through see what you have in life is up to you this whole wide world is make believe banging on pots in nana's kitchen this whole wide world is make believe Banging on pots in Nana's kitchen. This whole wide world is make believe. Banging on pots in Nana's kitchen last time. This whole wide world. Banging on pots in Nana's kitchen. Bless our children together. Children, you are loved, special, and important. God loves you, and so do we. All right, and we receive these gifts. So grateful to be aware that God is our source, and we are abundantly blessed to bring forth that which is on our hearts in his joy. Please stand and take hands and let's share together our prayer of protection. Together, the light of God surrounds us, the love of God enfolds us, the power of God protects us, and the presence of God watches over us. Wherever we are, God is and all is well. And our peace song.
are the love and the light and the peace in the earth right now. So let it shine and have fun.